Decrease the quotient of 24 and 3 by 5. How do you write this as a numerical expression? In this lesson, you will learn how to translate a verbal description of a calculation by writing it as a numerical expression. Let's review. Every number in an equation has a name. The answer to an addition equation is called the sum. Subtraction, difference. Answer to a multiplication equation is called the product and to a division equation is called the quotient. It's important to be familiar with the meaning of these math vocabulary words because if you have a simple description like 24, the quotient of 24 and 8, you need to know to write that as a numerical expression that you'd have to use a division sign. 2 less than 5. How do we write that as a numerical expression? Well first let's think about what 2 less than 5 means. David has five dollars. Andy has two dollars less than David. We can cross out those two dollars that Andy doesn't have and we have three dollars left. So we can take two less than five and write it as five, our original five dollars, minus two. Two less than five can be written as five minus two. Divide the sum of eight and four in half. Sometimes it's very helpful to sketch a little picture that'll help you understand really what the description means. We can draw eight hearts and then we can draw four more hearts to represent eight plus four. Now we want to divide that in half. Dividing something in half is the same thing as, as breaking it into two equal sized groups. So we can put eight plus four in parentheses to show that that's the size of our group, 12 hearts, and divide that by 2. Uh, let's evaluate that to see if it matches our picture. 8 plus 4 is 12, and when you divide that by 2, you get 6. And yes, that's exactly what our picture shows. Sometimes there's more than one way to write a numerical expression for the same description. For example, we can again add 8 and 4, but this time instead of dividing by 2, we're going to multiply by 1 half. That works because multiplication and division are inverse operations. Let's check it. 1 half times 12 is 12 halves. You simplify that and you get 6. The same value. These are called equivalent expressions. There's another way that you can write 1 half times 8 plus 4. You can completely leave the multiplication sign out and put the one half right next to the parentheses. When you have a number right next to the parentheses, that means to multiply. That's just a convention of mathematics that makes it a little bit quicker to write an expression. Decrease the quotient of 24 and 3 by 5. Well, I see some math words in this description. I see quotient and I see decrease. So I'm going to write the quotient of 24 and 3 as 24 divided by 3. Now, think about that word decrease. What does it mean? Does it mean to add 5, subtract 5, multiply, or divide? If we want to decrease, we want to make the number smaller. In this case, since we're using whole numbers, if we add 5 to our quotient, it's going to be larger. It's going to increase the size of the number. If we subtract 5 from the quotient, it will make the number smaller, so let's keep that one for now and go back to it. If we multiply the quotient by 5, that means adding itself uh, 5 times, like repeated addition. That's going to make the number larger. It's not going to decrease it. If we divide by 5, we're also going to get a smaller number, but that's not going to be 5 smaller. So it looks to me like subtraction works here. 24 divided by 3 minus 5. We can put parentheses around the division, but we don't really have to. So this is how you write decrease the quotient of 24 and 3 by 5 with a numerical expression. A common misunderstanding is to not really take the time to understand what the verbal description means. For example, in this one you might see 2 and write the number 2, you might see less and think about subtraction, and then you might see the number 5 and write down a 5. But 2 minus 5 means 5 less than 2. Don't make that mistake. To write 2 less than 5, it's 5 minus 2. Remember our example with the dollars. 
divide the sum of 8 and 4 in half. Sum of 8 and 4 you would add and then you might see divide so you put a division sign and then you see half so you might write one half. But 8 plus 4 divided by one half is not the same thing of 8 plus 4 divided in half. What this numerical expression says is the sum of 8 and 4 divided by 1 half. The correct way to write it would be 8 plus 4 divided by 2 or 1 half times 8 plus 4. In this lesson you have learned how to translate a verbal description of a calculation by writing it as a numerical expression.